There you guys, we are here. Um, just going to replace this whole system. This is one of the, this is a posh toilet seat and system and stuff like that. And I've had to replace it because the seat's pretty manky, which crap. Anyhow, being posh, being Reese here in Australia, you can't uh, just buy these seats. And one of them have obsolete, so they've got the same show of fuck I love you. Anyhow, I've turned the water off, turned the water off at the valve here. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. Uh, it's going to be probably a long video, probably, but who knows. None of this shit always goes to plan, as you know. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys how to do it. Do your own thing. Now, when you're doing your own set outs and stuff like that, I know you guys. So that's where the start is. I don't, I've just screwed straight into the wall here. But anyhow, you'll work all that kind of shit out. Hope you guys have a good Christmas too. It was uh, nice. And it was 40 degrees here. Even in Callaway. It was Christmas Day. The Boxing Day wasn't much better here from that too. Yeah, it's under your um, plastic nuts and everything right off your seat. There's no, there's no certain way to take all this apart. Yeah, I don't know what's under here, this is the first time I've lost it, don't be shocked, it's got a full of shit and crap. Nah, it's not too bad. Normally this here is all full of piss and everything like that from the garage, you can't shoot any straight. Kids, whatever. <clears throat> I said there's no set way here you get, as long as you get off the wall. That's probably spare out some water now. Make sure you drain your tank out. Some of this shit out of the road. Make a bit of room. Shut the shit off again. <clears throat> I'm sticking the standard base. Drill flush and put it back on the wall. Um, so, this is how you probably start if you want to do it yourself or do your own. Yeah, anyway, here's a brand new one. Um, pretty much the same, similar. Just um, gift wrap it and stick it on the wall. Yeah, because there's a um, over here, it's a wet area. They use a cement sheet on the walls in wet areas, not chip wrap. A bit more stronger, I suppose, to screw your screws and that in. But uh, still, we need to do the other housing or at least screw it into a fucking starting here. Um, what I do underneath here, there's always uh, your water saving device. I read that other way, they haven't been here. Just rip that fucker up. Best way you can get it. What's the point of having it fill up slow? Sucker. Throw it out. Now, inside your system is normally all your, your goodies. Yeah, we're going to sit about there somewhere. So, what I do, this is how I sort of do this part, is break open the. I shouldn't even see this yet. Break open all your goodies. I mean, you don't have to put your nut and old, uh, your nut and rubber on there. That's just one of those things. You get into the into them all the time, you just get into a uh, habit or a routine. So, biggest part, okay. This part sits up on your system, this part goes back to your toilet bowl. So stick your nut on, obviously, then your rubber. Now, some rubbers have a taper, it'll It'll start thin and work out and then have a backing, a flat back. If that's the case, these rubbers are domed on both sides. Probably won't be able to see that, but you work, you'll know when you look at it. Like it's domed on both sides there. Doesn't matter which way it goes on. But if you've got the rubber that tapers from the thin part and goes up like that, so it starts from thin and then it goes out like that, and then it just comes to a flat end, that part, the, the flat end, goes downwards onto your nut. The table part goes up because this is going to sit up into the 
house in here like that, all right? So make sure you put the tape of the start of the tape up, upwards and just roll it on. And then we can do then, sit it on here. What we're going to do is just get the length so we can cut this flush pipe off. I'm just going to treat it like we haven't got, we didn't have an old one on here. So basically, just sit it hard against the wall, make sure it's sitting square like that. And just look down to the side here, you'll see where the flush pipe goes in the back of the bowl. And just, you know, go in, say, 30 mil, mark it, and then cut it off. So this is a guess to guess. About there. And just hack it off. You can always shoot it back up. That's probably the way you can muck around and mount it up on the wall. And, and um, so you can mount it up on the wall. Clean, make sure you clean all your burrs and everything off when you cut it. Doesn't have to be 100% so spot on. Stick your uh, key, this is a key seal rubber, all right? Others have a flush pipe rather, this is a key seal, a pink camera, I should say. Okay, it goes on like that. Stick it in the back of your toilet, drive it in hard as you can go, and then you sit your system on top. Like that, oh yeah, it's pretty good. Drop your nut. Okay, now, at this stage here, you can put your seat on and um, fold it down. Happy days, all right? Otherwise, it comes with, uh, not exactly what call it, but it's like a, a guard that, that fills in this gap here on these little critters. So you can either slide that into there and obviously you've got to cut this back to fill in that gap or you just have it feel like that's up to you because this is a uh, reasonable power. So if you back door, we will put the guard in. So same thing. There's probably no 100 percent certain way to measure this. I um I just put my seat right in decision, slide them up as far as it goes in. And what you do is, on your seat here, sorry if I'm going around too much, but <clears throat> on your seat is this part here, right? Where are you there? About there. Now that's how far that this slides in. We're not making any of that uh, sense, you'll see. So this slides up underneath there like we just had it. And then your seat slides onto here, all right? So it slides into there. Now, as I was saying before, that part here is where this sits down. And so that's, that's your play area, I suppose. So you can have these folded up. So you've got this bit of, you've got, you know, say, an inch, 25 mil of play movement when it slides up. So basically, you, you see like the bolts, Bolt. Your seat, right? So your, your bolt sits in your seat like this, right? And that sits in the hole. So you can almost say, measure back that distance. There's, like I said, there's so many ways to kill a cat than this one, or skin a cat, or whatever you want to do it. But guide this down to roughly where it's going to sit, like your hole on top of the hole there. So about there. Slide this up underneath your, your system. So it's location and then find it where that guide is on the side here mark it onto your your uh, plate your by eye it's about there somewhere all right flip them over you'll see lines and stuff the majority of the time and just cut that right across that line and that should be good to go once you've done it all so bear with me this might take a bit it's a pain now to cut these actually Sometimes they use a grinder, small bit. Sorry about the noise. Another warm day here today too. 
Yourself, you find that if you've got soft hands, counting hands, beard hands, you might find you might cut your fingers on the plastic. Now, once you've got that down the scratch, make sure you brighten up your, uh, your nuts underneath here. Okay, and what you can do now, if you really, really want to, um, before you put all this back together, put some water up. Now, here's another thing, too, guys. These flex hoses, right? I see this fucking quite often. These flex hoses, this is another one, they've got rubbers inside them. And so often I see people even down here on the uh, isolation valve, they thread tape it up. You know, and then they thread tape up on the thread here on the inlet valve and shit like that. Don't do it. You don't fucking need to. Starters, what the rubbers for? Two, when you want to change the freight valve holder, you got to rip the, um, Flex the hose off, and then you gotta fuck around trying to get this up and up underneath here over the thread tape you just put So, trust me, you'll get the shit with it. And you pull it up, change the whole new system out. So, yeah, so you can do that, and then, you know, check it, make sure it's got no leaks filled up, then you put the seat in. I'm not worried because I've got a blow water off because I've got another one to do these as well. So, yeah, so make sure you tighten it up there, which is home hose in the system. And uh, slide your, your uh, backing plate on there. Now, grab your uh, rock nuts. Even though you can clean all that out, it's not my house, but yeah, mine have a side. I'm all fucking cleaner. Stick the lock nuts in, on your bolts in on your housing of your seat. Pile them down to the holes, like that, right? And then just guide that um, panel into that gap that I was explaining to you before, and that's how it sits. Drop your bolt, your nuts. I mean, if you, if you don't want to do it, you can, what you can do now is you can put all this together, and then um, you still get access to the nut underneath here that leads to go and tighten up enough. Or, um, or the key seal. If you need to do that, you have to take this off again. But drop your nuts and pop your uncle, pretty much. That's it. Something a little bit of a match. But you never put red tape on, on any of this shit when you're. Uh, when you're using flex hoses, because it's got that rubber seal on it. What I see people do that are uh, either handyman, homeowners, and they just got no idea what the fuck they're doing. So don't be one of them. I'm telling you now, don't put thread tape on threads when you're using rubber seals, like flex hoses. If you're putting, you know, screwing a bush onto a, onto a socket, yeah, go for it. You know, you've got it, but 
Here, yeah, there you go. Done. Now what you do now is just level that up, okay? And you, you, when you're winding your holding set, come from your screws and shit like that. Now, like I said, where these holes sit here, I assume you can still be going, I see, yeah. Where these two holes sit here, I mean, they're, they're out. That's about where the stud is. They're outside it. So, I put them in, just so I can keep it level. Make sure it's level, I mean it's pretty done a couple of these I can sort of tell. Alright, you can stick a level cross here, whatever you want to do. And then what I do, this is just me, because this is only screwed in a cement sheet or a jip rock, this is a cement sheet. Find where that stud is, about there, and stick another screw into that, that way you get some fucking support on it. Now that's the side of the shit. Fill it up, should be already set the height, put the lid on, and there you go. Alright, have any questions, send a uh, email, or send us an email, or uh, whatever questions in the description below. Alright guys, take you later.